Hello, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. As you see, this is what we're going to be creating in this video tutorial. Uh, a few people left uh, comments, you know, asking me how to recreate this. You know, a long time ago, I uploaded this. So, so you will have the link down below in the description. I create this and some of the people, you know, a few people were requesting two of the comments uh, was asking me how to recreate this little heart animation, as you see, special for weddings or you know that's what i decide to recreate this as you see and as you know let me close my quick time i already have my uh, let me close this well and i already have my uh, after effects you know you can create in any version so we're gonna go and you know 10 seconds long 30 frames per second so i'm gonna just hit okay and we're gonna go and pick the uh, rounded rectangle tool. So let me just drag this right here. And also we're gonna go and maybe align to the center. And once we have this, we're gonna go and make sure, you know, a long time ago also I uploaded the custom shapes to my page so you can download, you know, for Photoshop, of course, the custom shape for Photoshop. And you know, when you uh, install also, I have the video, you can watch how to install. So you will have those bunch of, you know, uh, custom shapes. In this case, I'm going to go and pick the heart tool and you can just draw like this, you know. So let me just go, uh, go back and I already have this. So I'm going to hit the A key just to select the path, you know, make sure command C to copy. Actually, I've been using a lot this uh, method in my other tutorial so you can watch as well. And going back to After Effects, so we're going to go and you add a shape layer and we're gonna go and also we're gonna go up here you see we're gonna go in a path and also we're gonna go and make sure the path is selected and we're gonna go command small b to paste and also we're gonna go and add a fill and stroke and once we have this so we're gonna go and hit s and we're gonna go and scale down a little bit maybe right there once we have this we're gonna go and duplicate two more times holding down command D and then we're gonna go and rename this stroke and this we're gonna go and rename fill and this one mask and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and select the stroke and the fill hit S again and scale down a little bit smaller than the mask you know right here and deselect select the fill again and also we're going to go and scale down a little bit more than the stroke right and we're going to go and delete the stroke in this case because we don't need the stroke in here so we're going to go and delete and also up here we're going to go and delete the fill see okay once we have this we're going to go and make sure go maybe one and a half second and we're going to go and select the fill and mask holding down command hit the s and we're going to go and add a keyframe go back to the zero frames and we're going to go and say maybe zero and if we play this is what we have right now okay just the fill and the mask and then we're going to go and select the keyframes right click you can go keyframe assistant easy ease or you can hit f9 on the keyboard and also we're going to go into my graphic editor make sure the move tool is selected and we're going to go and smooth the animation you know and just you know and then we're going to go and deselect all of them and so we will have this basically right now and we're going to go and play with the shape that we have in the bottom so we're going to go and duplicate one more time so we got two in this case we're going to go and rename right and this one left all right, so let me go ahead and, you know, hit P on the keyboard position. So we're going to go and see where we can start. You know, we can start maybe 15 frames and we're going to go and add a keyframe, both of them. So we're going to go second and a half. So it will be two and a half, right? So we're going to go two and a half and we're going to go and add another keyframe. So going back to those first keyframes, we're going to go and delete maybe. And we can go and deselect the layers. And we're going to go to the right. We're going to go pull to the left right here. And the left, we're going to go and pull to the right. Right there, maybe. So we will have this, you see. Okay. 
So maybe we're going to go and change the color just to see. Why didn't change the color? And this one may be green. So later we will change, you know, the color you like. So we're going to go and select and hit F9. Go and smooth animation. And, you know, so this is what we have. Okay, so what we're going to do is, let me just play again. We're going to go and deselect. And we're going to go and, you know, pre-compose. And just maybe delete this. So we have the left and this as well. So we're going to go pre-compose. Make sure it's move all the attributes into new composition, you know. So we're going to go delete this and just hit OK. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and add a mask to those um, plates or rounding rectangles, you know. So make sure this is selected. We're going to go and make sure also is fit and comp. We're going to go and pick the rectangle tool and just add a mask, you know, right there maybe. Okay. And then we're going to go make sure the mask is selected. Holding down Command C. We're going to copy, select the right, Command Small V to paste. And make sure hit M and just, you know, invert the mask. And this is what we have right now. Cool. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to go 100% again. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and, you know, and close this. Close this. And we're going to go and select those two layers and go pre-compose. And we're going to call plate. Okay. And we're going to go and put inside this mask. So we're going to go and say alpha invert math and this is what we will have nice so we're going to go and start animating these strokes so in this case we're going to go and add on a trim pad so we're going to go add trim pad and we're going to close this and we're going to go and drop this uh, stroke one down and we're going to go and add dashes so we're going to go and see let me turn off the mask so you will see this so you can play around down here but for this tutorial, I think that's fine. I like it. And we're going to go and close this stroke. So we're going to go drop this down the trim pad. And we're going to go 50% the end. And you will see just the half, you see? So we're going to go and see where we can start. Maybe we can start right there, which is uh, one second. Let's do one second. And we're going to go in our keyframe. And we're going to go and leave one and a half seconds. So it will be two and a half. And we're going to go and add another keyframe. And going back to this keyframe, maybe delete. And we're going to go and say 0%. So if we play, this is what we have. Nice. We're going to go and select the keyframes, F9. Go to my graphic editor and just smooth the animation. See, we we'll slow down. Anyway, so once we have this, we need to go ahead and close everything. And we're going to go Command-D to duplicate one more time. Make sure it's selected and also the Move tool selected. And we're going to go and right-click, you know, and go Transform and Flip Horizontal. So we will have the other half, the other side, you see? Nice. So we can go and change the color to white. And this one as well to white. If we play it, we've got in here, maybe we can change the fill as well to white, any color you like. And the last, we need to go ahead and add a text. We can type John. You can download the font if you want, the same I used. So let me go make sure align to the center. And maybe move to the left. And we're going to go and duplicate this command D to duplicate. And we're going to go and say Mary. You can type anything you want. And also hit P to position. And we're going to go and move to the right. Right there. So we're going to go and select both of them. And we can go and look for the preset. You can download my site as well. I have a preset. So you can download it free. I will leave the link in the description. And you can see if we delete this, you will see this animation preset. And we can go text and we we will have animation in or animate out. So we're gonna go animate in. So you can play around with those all those presets. So I'm gonna go and 
look for this or you will see this nice you know fade up characters and this is what we have so what we can do is go ahead and select these two layers right click and pre-compose and we're gonna go and say text okay once we have this we need to go ahead and select the plate and the mask make sure pre-compose and make sure to move all the attributes into new composition and we're gonna go and say text mask and then we're gonna go and move this text on the top of the text mask and we're gonna go and put this mask inside the text so we're gonna go and say alpha inverted map and we don't see anything yet because we have black background so we're gonna go and drag the image and also we're gonna go and add a blur effect which is the Gaussian blur so double click and we're gonna go and just you know blur all this a lot so if you want to add a video or solid colors up to you you know but the effect will be nice or look will look nice then we can go and repeat the edges edge pixels and then let me see what we have my computer is kind of like slow for some reason anyway so let me just go half and this is what we have okay so once we have this we need to go the last step is you know select uh, maybe this um, on the top of the image or background and holding down shift all those layers and right click pre-compose and we're gonna call this container and click OK so we're gonna go and stand this and then we're gonna go make sure the container is selected right click and go time enable time remapping as you see we added two keyframes at the beginning at the end as you see so we're gonna go and see where our animation ends kind of like three and a half seconds as you see we're gonna go and add another keyframe and then we're gonna go enough time to read the message or the text that we have in here which I will leave two seconds so it will be five and a half right here so we're gonna go and add another keyframe and then we're gonna go and leave the same amount of time between this and this so which is uh, three and a half right so let me see make sure three and a half so from here to the end we're gonna go another three and a half so it will be eight and a half right so let me go ahead maybe right here yep and we're gonna go and delete this keyframe at the end and we're gonna go and copy this select command C to copy and make sure the crosser is at the time you want so command small b to paste and we're gonna go and hit n and just play and see what we have you see and it goes back all right so as i say actually the comment was asking me to create an apple motion honestly i'm not really at Apple Motion, you know, so that's what I can create an Apple Motion. I'm not really professional using the Apple Motion, so that's what I decide to do in After Effects because most of the people, I guess, use uh, After Effects. So make sure to check and follow the tutorial, and you will be able to create this uh, tutorial. So hope you guys like it. As I said, this short tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my two YouTube channels and like us on Facebook and Twitter. And see you next time.